Hello everyone, uh, life is all good when you are in the best company with friends and family and when you have your bigger family visiting you all the way from India, it gets even better. So I'm going to use my Cricut Maker 3 uh, the most for today and it has been quite a long time. We haven't had people visiting us home for a gathering so it has got to be a deep clean. So with a busy day on mind, I fill myself up with a good intake of millet palak. Now we are expecting three little wonderful children home who are a bundle of energy and blessed with lots of talents. They sing in numerous languages, they dance and also have a keen interest in cooking. So I have ordered these colourful aprons uh, from Amazon along with these cotton bags that they can use on a regular basis for their daily activities after school. Now to make it more interesting and appealing to eyes, I'm going to use my Cricut Maker 3 to personalize these aprons and the bags as well, for which I'm using the Smart Ion Heat Transfer Vinyl. chosen some beautiful wordings that was a ready template available on the Cricut app which makes it all easy that anyone can just choose an idea and pick what is available. The Cricut app has a huge number of templates uh, given for any occasion. Now with the help of the tools that are provided it's a lot easy to remove uh, the excess placing the apron on the Cricut easy press mat. And here I have my Cricut Easy Press. It's important to press the fabric to remove the wrinkles and moisture. Never skip this step. And then I place and position the design, making sure the shiny side faces up. Placing the Cricut Easy Press on on your design, and then I applied gentle pressure. And flipping the material and applying heat on the back side as well. At least for 15 seconds time, pressing both sides ensures the design sticks uh, wash after wash. The design has two more important elements uh, that will make it very personal with the heart shape and the name. This apron being blue in color, I thought this will be just perfect for a little kneel. So I continued doing the same for uh, Sanchita as well. When anything gets personalized with the names written, there is a huge difference to anything that is being gifted. Um, this idea can also be used by moms uh, for return birthday gifts to all the children attending the birthday party or for a paint party as well. So I'm leaving a link for you all in the description box of the Cricut Maker 3 and Cricut Easy Press. And so please make sure to have a look. And now for the reusable cotton bags, I'll be using the holographic. Um, it looks great and I'm sure the kids will fall in love with this color with just the names on the bag. Now the beauty of this holographic that it will match with any of the color. So I'm using it on all three bags, uh, black, white and off-white as well. 
Now the idea here is instead of gift wrapping, I thought I could gift the bags as well in which way it's eco-friendly and also encouraging the kids to reuse bags uh, with the names written on it. It looks cool, it looks trendy and also will not be lost when they take their belongings in it uh, for any of the school activities or after school activities. The same holographic vinyl gives a completely different look with the base color used and so are the aprons ready now. With everything uh, ready, I went out for a quick targeted shopping to IKEA. You know the shopping item. <laughs> <laughs> While the weather outside was not very cooperating, but we had set our mind to sort out the garden. So, uh, Santosh bought everything indoors to plant and keep the pots ready and then place them outside. And I bought these cute little spice jars from IKEA. Um, I bought around 8 packs or so uh, with 4 in each pack to reorganize the kitchen cabinets and it's really good to have guests at home is what I feel in which way all the things that were on hold including the gardening, uh, the kitchen drawers, uh, cabinets and the house with it being neat and tidy. Honestly, having guests is one of the best solution for a good home clean and that we tend to do uh, many things and one of the major things that I'm yet to do is the kitchen cabinets. Um, these drawers are quite big in size and all these years I just reused uh, the jars that were available at home, that were at home. And these jars are quite big and bulky in size. So I really felt the need to rearrange and not just clean it. So I start off with one drawer at a time, uh, which actually makes it a lot easy than cleaning the whole of the kitchen together at once. The drawer lining has seriously gathered a lot of dirt. I have this kitchen cleaning spray from Aldi that works really well that I use for anything to do in the kitchen. And these kitchen drawer liners are the ones that I've been using for almost five years now and they're working just brilliant. Uh, these ones are from IKEA and they are super helpful in looking after the drawers. Um, I let them air dry after a good spray and a good wipe and parallelly I fill up these new jars with spices. To my very own surprise what I learned even though these spice jars look small, cute and tiny they hold a lot equal to the size of the jars that I'm holding in my hand. Um, my intention here I actually bought them to make them look neat um, in the drawers but they actually have a good capacity to hold as well is what I feel right now. I make fresh powders, cumin powder, jeera powder, jeer ki pudi and also dhania powder, sappan pudi and many other powders uh, so that it smells good and um, also these jars will be filled up so that cooking will be easy. And into the second drawer is also a big mess that I have a lot of masala powders spread in here as well that I now make it a point to keep it more organized with, with all kinds of spices and masala powders all in one drawer now. Uh, all kinds and all varieties will, that I will need for cooking, I have placed all of them in these jars. With all the jars of same size and shape, it fits in well and perfect and so many uh, just in one drawer. I have actually created a lot of more space in the drawers is what I have been noticing. I place the not so used spatulas whisks in this tray and shift it into the second drawer. And moving all of these spices into the first drawer as there is still plenty of room. A small white box to hold these herbs and spices. Okay. 
this snack drawer is always a big mess uh, cleaning it on a regular basis and checking the boxes is the only solution to keep it clean and sorted is what i feel snacks and more snacks a very favorite cabinet in the whole kitchen a grocery store and asian store you tend to buy those packs that are about to be finished and that's when these extra packs also take up the space and um, i have seriously managed to create space in fact a whole lot of space um so cleaning is a must for cleanliness and maintaining the hygiene along with the space that will be created for a good organization so uh, a reshuffle is a great way to create space is what i feel Uh, these steel dabbas hardly get cleaned on a regular basis so i give them a good wipe making them look shiny and sparkly this corner cabinet takes in and can gather hold a lot of things all that i wish to and that's why it's a big mess so here is to the reorganized shelf um with the bottom corner being hard to reach i place the lazy susan which becomes a great place to hold so many things neatly and also i can reach to them easily i have a huge pack of unopened pan masalas that i'm always in love with and here is my favorite shelf just for pan lovers like me also cleaned this drawer as this is the most used uh, well there are all together 21 cabinets in the kitchen but i have cleaned only the ones that were badly needing the attention with all the cleaning uh, this narrow pull out drawer has become totally empty so i place these big jars from the storeroom uh, here so honestly the spice jars brought from ikea the little ones turned out to be a good buy for their look and for the capacity and also uh, majorly fitting many of the things into one drawer now a good wipe a good clean uh, was much needed after all the deep uh, kitchen cleaning cabinets and the drawers um our kitchen is the magnet kitchen and this cabinet color is astral blue in color just a spray on the handle and on the cabinet doors is plenty to make them look shiny and sparkly I just use the kitchen every day for regular cooking and for the shoot as well and it becomes important to clean and wipe and look after the cabinets. So this was me planning ahead 2 days earlier to clean, dust, wipe and make our house look sparkling clean and shiny. So I planned the days in such a way that it should be easy for me. Uh, so this was me for day 1. the following day i set making the dessert called basundi i have 2 liters of organic whole milk that i've set to boil very important for me to mention this point that whenever i do sweets at home i give a good wash to the vessel that i'm going to cook the sweet in and then making the dessert in which way you are assured the sweet will turn out good without getting spoiled uh, with some kind of odor from the previous cooking just in case in the mixer jar i have around 200 grams of dates that i have soaked in water overnight uh, that i'm going to grind into a fine paste along with its water 100 grams of tamarind pulp 50 grams of jaggery and more water and very importantly to keep stirring the basundi every now and then so that the bottom doesn't get burnt now to the katamita chutney a teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder salt a pinch of rasam powder a pinch of garam masala a teaspoon of dhania powder a teaspoon of chaat masala a teaspoon of amchur powder 
I'm planning to make bel puri tomorrow. So making the chutneys a day before will be a lot helpful, saving up time. And these chutneys are something that will last long. A teaspoon of rock salt, a teaspoon of jeera powder. Give it a good mix and allow it to come to a good boiling point. The cream has started, uh, so it's important to keep stirring occasionally and ensuring the sides of the vessels are cleaned. In which way we will have a lot of cream texture, a creamy texture, than it uh, it going waste at the sides. Uh, now the beauty of making basundi that we can parallelly work on making so many other dishes at the same time. To make the tikka chutney, a handful of coriander leaves, handful of mint leaves, one green chilli, an inch of ginger, half a lime, salt, and water. I also add in a tablespoon of yogurt to this. Now I'm also making chutney puri at home, which is quite a long-lasting powder. A cup of chana dal with a few drops of oil that I roast, and once they start changing the color, that's when I add in a cup of urad dal, a tablespoon of dhania seeds, and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. This powder tastes excellent with. Uh, hot rice ghee and pickle and also it is a great combination with idli dosa paddu bread toast and chapatis as well i also roast a cup of dried bread chilies i'm using bergi mincin kai 3 fourth cup of desiccated coconut salt a tablespoon of tamarind a tablespoon of jaggery now it's important for all the grains to cool down completely and then i'm going to grind it until then, I'm going to dry roast peanuts for making korjak palya. With the milk reaching to this consistency, which is still flowing but has a lot of cream gathered, that's when I turn it off as it will thicken up more with the time. And when refrigerated, uh, it will thicken up more. So, now for 2 litres of milk, I add in 8 teaspoons of brown sugar, 2 pods of cardamom powder crushed, few strands of kesar. Basundi is now ready. I also ground the chutney puri. I also peel off the skin from the peanuts and make it into a coarse powder. Now to make this palya in a pan with oil, mustard seeds, curry leaves, I saute the courgette until they are softened. Now the beauty of these uh, gorgets is they tend to soften up really fast. To this I add in 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, salt, lots of peanut powder and coriander leaves. And I stopped cooking at this point but I really felt the need of labelling the powder and the spices and when I have my Cricut Maker 3 at home I shouldn't be worrying at all. bright beautiful base color cut in circles and that I stick first and then the names of the spices. I am using permanent white vinyl to get the names of the spices and the masala powders. They look neat and beautiful and gives that feeling of having got the jars that are bought from stores. If you are looking for housewarming ceremony present ideas then this is something that you can take. I am very happy the way it has turned out and now there is no way that anyone working in our kitchen will get mixed up with the spice jars. And this is the final arrangement and I am loving it. Thanks to Cricut Maker 3 for being so versatile that I can use it for any of my tasks that I wish to. And uh, it is a one-time investment is what I can say that you will be very happy to have one at home just for yourself that you can actually start working on uh, from your own home in setting up your own business, uh, creating plenty of stuff with the help of Cricut Maker 3. The following day, I am expecting my bigger family home. We will in total be 9 adults and 4 children. 
So I have half a cup of dal dal washed and soaked in water. To this I add in one onion, two garlic cloves, a brinjal that I cut to pressure cook. And um, I have fresh herbs, handful of palak leaves that I have finely chopped, handful of sabaski soppu which is dill leaves, handful of meaty leaves which is mente soppu. I have finely chopped all of them and this is a very satisfying and comfort food uh, dal recipe for which I have oil. Mustard seeds, two garlic cloves, curry leaves, tomatoes, and all the leaves together at once. And then I add in the dal, water, turmeric, two teaspoons of homemade garam masala, a teaspoon of green chili paste, tamarind pulp, and salt to your taste, along with the grated coconut and coriander leaves. making a kosamri with two grated carrots, one grated cucumber, coconut, coriander leaves and I keep it ready up till this point and later I'm going to add in the marke. Um, and it's always uh, such a nice feeling when children come to help in whatever we do. Sanika has been helping me so much. Now I'm making beetroot talu. For which I add in oil, mustard seeds, urad dal, curry leaves and grated beetroot. I add in water and then I add in a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, salt, grated coconut and coriander leaves. And this beetroot talu turned out to be everyone's favourite. To make tomato rasam with oil and freshly crushed garlic, I have used 6 cloves and then I add in 6 tomatoes, a tablespoon of paneer powder, a tablespoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of pepper powder. I allow the tomatoes to soften in these masala powders. Only when they are completely soft, that's when I add in um, water. I have used around one and a half bottle of water. And it's important to set it to boil at least for good 10 minutes time uh, for the water to be nicely infused in the masala powders. I finish it off by adding in salt and coriander leaves. Now for the tadka with oil, mustard seeds, red chilies, fenugreek seeds and hing. To the basundi we have added finely chopped cashew nuts. And you can see how thick it has turned out now. <laughs> we are planning to make moong dal vada, for which I have one cup of moong dal washed and soaked for four hours. Now. That um, is grinded thick with no water added at all. To this, I add a teaspoon of cumin powder, a pinch of cooking soda, salt to taste, a teaspoon of green chilli paste, 12 mint leaves finely chopped, half a bunch of the leaves finely chopped and I keep it ready to this point. <laughs> Now to make the palak rice, we are not blanching the palak leaves uh, to retain its nutrient values but just grinding it directly to get a puree with water. In a pressure cooker with a, a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of ghee, 1 star anise, 2 cloves, 2 cardamoms, 1 palau leaf, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 big onion cut lengthwise, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, handful of potatoes, a cup of basmati rice that I washed, now what I do to get a rich flavour to the rice that I give a stir to the rice uh, nicely to warm it up and then I add in a teaspoon of polio grey powder, handful of peas, palak puree, green chilli paste, turmeric and salt. Two cups of water and I pressure cook it for one whistle. Uh, Saniku is filling up the shooter glasses with basandi. Mm, 
Now parallelly uh, to make the bhe, uh, I have measured the mamras and I have also measured in a bowl full of Bombay mix, a bowl full of papri, chatpata greens. And now I finish off the kosamri by adding in the sprouted moong dal uh, which is hesar kalu. I add in salt and lime. While Sanika decorates the glasses with strawberries and blueberries. I clear up the whole island making space and keeping the bheel puri items on one side. And this is how I make the cones for bheel using a paper plate, <laughs> cutting it to the center point and then twisting, turning to create uh, a cone shape uh, that I staple uh, so that it holds firm. And it's an interesting way to serve charts at home to your guests. Making the presentation bags ready now, which the kids loved and I'm pretty sure they will be using it on a regular basis. Uh, we also bought them chopping boards and chocolate boxes for the girls and a water bottle for Neil. Only when it's time to make the vadas, that's when I add in salt and onion. Now the reason uh, of adding them at this point is that salt and onion release water in which way it will become runny and watery. Um, I use two spoons to scoop out the vada mix in oil to deep fry on a medium flame. These vadas turned out really tasty. Before guests arrive, I quickly plate up the thali. So in today's South Indian guest platter, we have Hesar Kalin Kosamri, Beetroot Talu, Korjat Palya, Tomato Rasam, uh, Suppin Gatti Palya, Palak Rice, Plain Rice, Moong Dal Vada, Chutney Puri, Basundi and Tuppa. Now this thali is for my guest and I really hope they will like it and enjoy it. Well, I did enjoy the bheel with everyone else last night. But uh, how can one be satisfied by eating it just once? So here is round two the following day with Mamra mix uh, that was already there last night um, that I had made. Uh, to this I add in the tikka chutney, mita chutney, pomegranates, tomatoes and onions. I also add in salt and lime and then plenty of fine safe and coriander leaves. I thoroughly enjoyed making this video and I hope you found this video motivating to clean and organize your kitchen and making it inviting to have guests at home. Thank you so much for watching this video in full.